Let's get into some conference championship games, starting with our game of the week. Isaac, why don't you tell the folks what it is? Folks, our game of the week is going to be 16th ranked Iowa State playing against 15th ranked Arizona State in the Dr. Pepper Big 12 Championship game at AT AT&T Stadium in Dallas at 12 p.m. on Saturday at noon. The ESPN FPI, as of right now, has Iowa State at 55%, and the spread, however, is in favor of Arizona State by two points. So another back-and-forth teeter-totter there between the teams. Which is, this is going to be a really interesting game uh, just because both these teams' backs are against the wall to get in the playoff, right? And with the ESPN FPI leaning one way and the spread leaning one way, this is crazy. Guys, just a couple weeks ago, do you remember this? We were talking about the Kansas State versus Arizona State game. We said, guys, if Arizona State wins this game, does that gain a lot of favor with the committee? Well, they put them into the top 25. Well, guys, they put them into the top 25. And guys, now they're in the running for the playoffs if they win the Big 12 championship. Uh, it's definitely a possibility now, obviously. Uh, and how about Iowa State, though? Not like, you know, Arizona State, you know, we talked about them, but Iowa State, man, they lost two games in a row to Texas Tech and Kansas. They got dropped out of the rankings. Now they haven't lost since then. They won the Farmageddon matchup against Kansas State, and now they're in a position to make the college football playoff as well. And so you guys might be thinking at home, like, well, why is this game the game of the week? You've got the Big Ten Championship. You've got the SEC Championship. Well, guys, this is the only championship game where if either team loses, they're out. You could look at the ACC Championship and say, oh, well, Clemson loses, they're out. Yeah, yeah, we're not saying that, you know, a team can't lose the championship game and get out. We're saying that both teams in the championship could lose and get out. All right? So both these teams, they have to win. It's the only championship game where both teams have to win the game in order to get in. So that's what we're looking at. Um, the Big 12, they've they've also been one of the craziest stories because it really was like for a while, it was like, well, are, are, is the Big 12 actually going to be able to get a team in besides the auto bid? Um, you know, just a few weeks ago, you know, we thought it was going to be BYU and Colorado battling out for the playoffs, but some things shook out, and now it's the Cyclones versus the Sun Devils, um, which I a couple weeks ago, I mean, that, that's not who we thought this was going to be, but, you know, shook out the way it did, and here we are. This matchup, it's going to be a special one, I think. But, guys, ultimately, who wins this one? You know, this is a tough one, um, but – I really have to go off of, you know, who I feel confident in. And honestly, Iowa State, through all adversity, uh, has come back to put themselves in this position. Um, I think Arizona State is a great team. I th- just think that they're not quite there yet. Uh, they, they, they still make very consistent mistakes um, every game. And I, I just think that's going to be what – determines this game i think iowa state wins this uh i think it's going to be a close game though it's probably going to be one of the closer games out of all the conference championships um but yeah i got iowa state man this one this one's really tough because i watched arizona state squeak out that hectic win over byu just a couple of weekends ago before thanksgiving and I really thought BYU would win the game. I actually wanted BYU to win the game. I had been following what I called the Storm and Mormons all season. Uh, in the Big 12, I wanted Colorado. I, I really did. I wanted I wanted Travis Hunter and the boys to do it. Um, yeah, the peep the prime hoodie there. I really did. But, of course, now here we are. We've got what we've got. So, uh, I agree. This was going to be a very, very close game. Um, it, it's a neutral site. I would argue it's probably a little bit more in favor of the Sun Devils. Honestly, this game could go either way. Given the run they've been on, I'm going to have to go with the Sun Devils in this one. I'm going to take Arizona State. Uh, I may I may end up blowing the pick. I don't know. I feel like Iowa State and Arizona State both struggled down the stretch with a couple of close games. I feel like both of them had trouble with kicking. Um, but, hey, listen, kickers want it. That's the motto. So uh, I've got Arizona State on Saturday. Man, you guys just – split and now i have a really hard decision to make on who i'm gonna pick because it's even sitting here right now i still don't know a lot of people man they wrote off matt campbell after he lost to texas tech and you know after they went seven and oh eight and oh but he's still a really good football coach but so is 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 dillingham at at arizona state that's what makes it so hard man it's like you you try to look at the losses you try to look at who played who better but right now man i think that oh this is such a toss up. I'm going to go with Arizona state here. I'm going to go with the sun devils, man. I, I think Kenny Dillingham is really getting the team uh, the, together right now. They've got some really good wins the last couple of weeks, not to discount Iowa state. They have a really good win against Kansas state. Uh, but man, Arizona state is, uh, 
Yeah, and you know what's crazy? Like, neither team has really been here. Well, Iowa State was here in 2020, so Matt Campbell's played in this game. Um, they even lost, actually, on a close freaking call to to Oklahoma. But, um, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see what happens here. I, I'm, I'm not even confident in that pick. This is, this is a really tough game to pick, but I am going to have to go with Arizona State here on this one.